smarter machines, healthcare that's more effective, and stronger, more nimble robots. This show is all about the people who design technology for the better. Tech that inspires, educates, and creates lasting impact. So where will the next great innovation come from? Some are now looking to Mother Nature for the answer. We analyze how animals are achieving the fantastic performance that they deliver to how we should engineer something. From mobility to medical tech that could save lives. It's going to be more effective and safer and quicker. And the future of renewable energy. Dimensional energy is something that we can get from the air. Join me as you meet the minds behind the technologies inspired by the intelligent systems of nature. Adaptations and know-how honed in the wild for over millions of years. I'm Christy Lou Stout and this is Tech for Good. This is Ron, a barn owl being rehabilitated at Kadori Farm and Botanic Garden in Hong Kong, which you might be surprised to learn is three quarters countryside and home to an abundance of biodiversity. Ron is considered a raptor, a bird that captures live prey. He has long broad wings and special feathers which help him hunt for prey with optimized speed and stealth. It's just one example of the many biological features that have helped different species adapt and survive throughout eons of evolution. Scientists and researchers are taking note of such features. They're hoping to unlock greater potential in our technologies through bio-inspired engineering. What I really love about flying is the way the air flows around the shapes of the wings. It's that pattern of movement and that flow that I think is really interesting. It's very clear that animals have evolved over time to require more and more intelligence to cope with the aerial environment. Adrian Thomas is a professor of biomechanics at Oxford University. He uses his lovely morning commute not only to relax, but also to research. When I go to the lake, I'm looking at the way the animals behave when they're flying in an undisturbed way. If we really want to know how the animals use air as a source of energy to support them and to cope with turbulence, we need to study them in as undisturbed a way as possible, their natural behavior. So that big one is, uh, I think that's an emperor dragonfly over there, which is the biggest we get of the lot. So that's kind of an exciting thing to see flying around here. The flight performance these animals achieve is absolutely extraordinary. And it's the result of 300 million years of air-to-air -air combat fighting over breeding territories. The result of that is they've got this astonishing performance. So when they go out to do things like feed, they're fantastically over-engineered and they catch prey all the time in a way that no other animal does. It was nature's sublime engineering performance that gave Thomas an idea. In 2015, he co-founded Animal Dynamics Limited. Animal Dynamics is a spin-out from Oxford University, it comes out of my research at the Oxford Animal Flight Group, where we were working on the fundamentals of aerodynamics, control and stability in animal flight. A variety of different skater movements. The idea is that animal dynamics looks to nature for inspiration to improve engineering designs in a variety of vehicles and systems. The company's first vehicle was the Skeeter, a flopping winged micro drone based on the biomechanics of the dragonfly. We wanted to do four wings because the dragonflies can glide, but they can also hover and accelerate in all directions. They can fly in really strong wind in turbulent conditions and can cope with those real-world difficult environments. Animal Dynamics isn't limiting its innovations to just the sky. They've also found opportunities to improve the robotics used underwater. Flapping wings, we've got a nice fixed control system. The big advantage of 
Ray Drive, which is our flapping underwater vehicle, is that it can operate more efficiently than a propeller-driven vehicle, which means less pollution. It can also operate in horrible, weedy, cluttered environments where you just cannot take anything with a propeller drive. So at the moment, if telecommunications cables run from the UK to Europe, if they break deep sea, they have to send down divers. And it's a dull, dirty, dangerous, cold, nasty job, and really high risk, that we could do with a machine. The Ray Drive is immune to those problems. But perhaps the company's most influential piece of tech has come in the form of a long-haul bird you might not expect. For years, I've been doing aerodynamic design on paraglider wings. And the first one I did that with was I took an albatross aerofoil, put it in a paraglider that I then flew to win the paragliding national championships. Stork exploits that high-performance bio-inspired wing by adding a motor underneath and then carrying large amounts of cargo. The Stork STM drone emerged from a British Army initiative designed to automate last mile resupply. The company says it could be used to provide humanitarian aid in situations that would be too dangerous for manned aircraft. Thomas is confident his inventions will provide major benefits to civilian society, aiding the environment and potentially saving lives. Our tech is a tech for good because our vehicles all fly or swim with higher efficiency than any of the current systems. The big advantage of efficient vehicles is lower fuel consumption, so lower emissions. We're doing something good about global climate change.